This is a complex task for confident users only. You need to have a Windows system for this to work. We are more than happy to provide remote support to set up your printers for you if you feel unable to complete this yourself. You need to follow these instructions on the device that your EPOS Now system is installed on. Your screen might look different to this example. Splitting orders to different printers allows you to send products to different areas within your venue so that orders can best be fulfilled. For example, drinks orders going directly to the bar and food orders going directly to the kitchen. Some elements of this guide are the same as the single printer setup, but the configuration of the printers is slightly different. Firstly, we need to set up our kitchen printer. Here are the instructions for that. Open your EPOS Now back office software on your EPOS Now device. This may be an icon on your desktop or home screen, or it might be in Start menu and then Programs. Navigate to the menu on the left hand side. Select Manage, then Products, and click Categories. Note where the Order Printer slash Display column is, and find the name of your order type. In this case, it is called Kitchen. Remember this name for later. You can only print one order type to one printer. Now, go back to your desktop and find the File Explorer button. It may look like this, or like this. It may be different on your device. Click this button. On the left hand side, there are a list of places on your device where information is stored. We need to change information in the EPOS Now system, so we will click this option. Make sure you select this one and not the recovery drive. We now need to get to the right destination in the folder. So, we need to double click each of these files. Program Files EPOS Now POS system. Opening one folder leads to more folders, so just follow the sequence of pictures on the right if you get lost. You should now be able to see Order Printer. Don't open this folder, just ensure the tick box is selected by clicking or tapping it once. Now have a look at the top left corner of the window and click the button that says Copy. Now press the button that says Paste. A warning box may appear asking if you wish to proceed. It is safe to click Continue. A copy of the folder called Order Printer will appear at the bottom of the list of folders. It will be called Order Printer Copy. Click once on the text or right click and select Rename. We are going to name this printer after the order type we noted earlier on. I'm going to rename this printer Order Printer dash Kitchen. The name of your order type may be different. Once you've done that, you can press Enter to confirm. You may get a warning box appear asking if you are sure. It is safe to click Continue. You now need to open this new folder. Double click to open it and you will see a program called Order Printer with an EPOS Now logo next to it. Click this just once to select it. As before, go to the top of the window and press the copy button and select the option that says Paste Shortcut. A warning will appear asking if it's okay to send the shortcut you're creating to the desktop instead. That's fine, click yes. We now need to go and find this new shortcut. Back to the list on the left, you will see a file called Desktop. Click here and you will see the new shortcut there. We now need to rename this shortcut using the same process as we did before. Either click once on the text or right click and ch change the name to Order Printer Dash Kitchen. Right click the newly named printer and press Cut. 
Now, we've got another series of tasks to do to get to our new destination. Follow these instructions carefully. First, on the left-hand menu, click the EPOS Now Drive, the same one as you did before. Go to the bar at the top, above the folders. Click in the space and then type C colon backslash program data, all one word, no spaces, and then press enter. Now there's a series of folders you need to open. You can follow the pictures on the right hand side if it helps. We're going to double click each one. Microsoft. Windows. Start menu. Programs. Startup. Now you are in the startup folder. Press the paste button. You may get a warning box appear. It's safe to press continue. The printer you cut earlier should now appear in this folder. This means that the printer will load every time you start up your device. We are now going to instruct this printer to handle the kitchen order type. Double click the printer in the startup folder. Now, at the bottom right of your screen near the clock, right click on the toolbar and select show all notification icons. After a few seconds, a blue circle will appear. Click this blue circle. This window will appear. Now click the pin button to keep it here for the time being. Enter your EPOS Now username and password to continue. Select your location when prompted and then the name of the order type that we're setting up for printing. In this case it's kitchen but yours might be slightly different. Now you need to choose to send these orders to the correct printer. As these are kitchen orders we want to send them to the kitchen printer. Now press print. To confirm, press the green run button. You can now click on the pin button again to close this window. You now need to repeat this video but set up your other printer. In this example, order printer dash bar. Simply go through each step again but substitute the order printer kitchen for order printer bar. Then, as with the printer setup, ensure everything is set to the bar order type and then sent to the bar printer. Now open your EPOS Now Till software and log in. Select the menu and navigate to Apps. And then Settings. Click App Settings. Select Offline Order Printing and click the button so it turns from blue to grey. Now press Save. Congratulations! You have set up your printers to split orders to specific printer locations depending on their type. If you have any questions or require more support, please get in touch with our team by emailing support at hot.app.